hi you guys welcome back to my channel welcome to a full get ready with me in today's video we are going to be installing some ula hair um they did send over this 12 inch bob for me to try out it does have hd transparent lace so i was really 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 excited um to try that out but first let me blow my nose because your girl got covid so um we're gonna be using the hair diagram um bold hold lace jelly so this is basically just like like a gel and i'm going to use this to brush back my edges because i want to make sure that i protect my hair and this is going to be kind of like a protective barrier for my hair because i'm not going to be doing the ball cap method i don't think that that method personally works for me and my hairline because you know i got the receding hairline so um i just I just use that to protect it. I am going to still put on a lace uh, or put on a, um, a little, what are those things called? A spandex hat, you know, whatever. And I'm going to take this um, hairspray and apply this just around the edges. Basically, once again, to coat my hair just to protect it. And then I'm going to use the blow dryer to um, make that dry down. And it will leave a tacky residue, but this stuff isn't too, too, too tacky. It's not as good as like the got to be, but it was something that I saw on the internet. And I was like, okay, let me try it out. But I definitely don't prefer it over the got to be, but it does help to protect my edges um, as well as using the gel. So now I'm going to pop on the wig. I did do some like customization to it. I took two little front pieces and I bleached those as well as bleaching the knots. I did tint my lace already um, prior to doing this video, but here I'm just kind of putting it on my head, kind of measuring it, making sure like it fits on both um, edges, both sides. Then I'm going to take some hair scissors and just cut two little slits. I find that putting these slits in really helps to um, give you uh, sections in order to lay the wig. So I'm going to use the Bold Hold Extreme Hold um, hair. Uh, lace oh my gosh i'm drawing a blank you guys i can't even think the wig glue hello <laughs> and i'm gonna use the spatula uh, hair spatula brush just to brush it or to spread it out i'm gonna spread it backwards towards the hairline um and then i'm gonna go in with another layer i do let this dry down to be clear in between i don't blow dry it or anything like that i just let it air dry and let it get tacky and then once it's clear i will pull it up and secure that onto my forehead i'm going to use both the end like the tail of the um of the comb and i'm also going to use the actual comb to secure it so i'm just going to go ahead and do both sides as well i really make sure to get down around the ear because i personally find that um, for my installs, the ear is where it always lifts or starts to lift first. So I made sure to add a little bit extra and then I'm going to go ahead and pull that down and secure it and take a little drink break in between my glue drying because like I said, do not need you do not need to use a blow dryer. But if you don't have a lot of time, I have time because Blaze is over his grandparents' house. But if you don't have a lot of time, you don't have to worry about um, or you can blow dry. But I want to let you guys know that I did not have to do a lot to this wig. It came pre-plucked um, and everything. I wish the knots came pre-bleached, but it didn't. This was my first time working with HD lace. And oh my gosh, I never want to go back to anything else. The lace was so thin. It looks so natural. And this wig is only $150, you guys, for this 12-inch. So if you're looking for like a quick throw on and go and, you know, you just want something short and cute for the moment, this is a great wig and you're going to fall in love with HD lace just like I did because it's amazing. Like it looks so natural. When I got finished, I didn't even do baby hairs. And you guys know I love baby hairs. I didn't even do baby hairs because I was so in love you guys like I, I just want all the HD lace wigs you guys so um, but I did end up plucking just a little bit just a little bit like just here and there but I did not have to do a lot of plucking so if you're like more of a beginner like me definitely check out this wig I will have it linked down below with all of the information as well as like a coupon code as well for you guys so I have some um uh an, a spandex adhesive not adhesive um a spandex band like a to wrap around my edges this is how you're gonna get like the ultimate melt so you want to get this off of like Amazon or you can get it at like Joann's or Michael's or you know Hobby Lobby or something 
but it's just a spandex band, um, elastic band, I'm sorry. So you wrap it around your edges, tie it down. You could leave it on for five minutes. I left mine on for like 20, 25. And then you wanna go in with like scissors or I like to use um, this razor, you know, like an eyebrow razor because it like gives like more of a jagged, less clean look. And I'm just gonna start to take that lace off. Like I had mentioned, this lace is very, very thin. So it does not take a lot. Just be, excuse me, be careful because you don't want to cut your face um got to keep the face cute and here i am like i mentioned i put a little bit more glue and i'm just going through and securing the edges because some of the edges did not have some glue on it so i'm just going through and making sure everything is laying down and is very very secure You'll use that rat tail comb, comb and push it down use the back end of the comb make sure you push it down and there it is look at that does that not look like my does that not look like my damn hair? Like I I am just so in love with this lace and this wig. Like I don't know why it's taking me so long to try out HD lace, but if you have the means um, to try it out, definitely try it out because you're gonna fall in love and it makes installing so 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 easy. Now it's time to start styling my hair and I just flat ironed this hair. So I'm using my Kara Hair Wax Stick just to put it um, on the top of my head. This is just going to give it some shine. It's going to help to sleek it down and give it a nice sleek look. And I'm using a hot comb just to make sure that the wig is flat because we don't want any lumps or humps or anything like that. We want to make sure it's nice and flat. So. I'm just using my hot comb for that. I'm using it on, I think, 350. And then I'm using this L'Oreal uh, Magic Root Touch-Up kind of spray because I felt like my knots were over bleached and I did not like that. So I'm just using my rat tail comb just to place it in the middle. And then I'm gonna spray the hair on the side just very lightly and then I'm gonna comb through it just to make sure that I, you know, keep the part bleached but the sides of the hair, you know, um, covered so I'm moving on to my brows I'm using this elf eyebrow putty um, pomade type stuff I did not like this at all this is the first time I used it elf has sent me a PR package um, but like I mentioned I did not like this at all uh, I would much prefer the ABH brow um, their like brow freeze I think it's called um, over that elf is obviously a cheaper and more affordable brand but when it comes to the brows, I would definitely stick with the ABH Brow Freeze over this because the Brow Freeze actually keeps my brows in place in this, my brows. It just felt like a, it just felt like, not waxy, but just like, like jelly. Like, I don't know, it didn't do anything for me. So after carving out my brows, I'm going to go ahead and prime my lids for eyeshadow. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and set them down as well with a translucent setting powder. I always set my eyeshadow. I find that my eyeshadows blend a lot better when I set them. And then I'm taking um, those two warm uh, transition shades from the, um, oh my gosh, this is Colored Rain's Rebellious Nude Palette. This is the palette that I'm going to be working out of um, for today's eye look. Um, I'm going to take the brown shade and just apply that into the crease. The brushes that I'm using are going to be Sigma brushes. Um, as you guys know, that's mainly what I use uh, as I get PR from Sigma. So um, this is just like a, like a tapered blending brush. I'm just working this into the crease. I didn't want the crease to be too dark, but this added the perfect amount of definition. And then I am going to use this ColourPop Cream Shadow. It's a nude cream shadow, and I'm going to cut the crease. In hindsight, I probably shouldn't have cut the crease, um, but I didn't really know what kind of look I was going for here. I just knew I wanted to do a nude look to go with this hair. Um, so I am going to wing that out and do a full-on... Um, cut crease look <laughs> bring me back to 2016 okay um, here I am using a dose of colors this is like a mini um, a mini pencil brush with a uh, makeup geek dark brown eyeshadow and then I'm gonna take a nude eyeshadow from that same palette and just pat that over the cream eyeshadow the cream eyeshadow does dry down to a matte finish but I'd like to set it with the nude eyeshadow so I'm taking the same brown from the Color Rain Rebellious News palette and just working that onto the lash line. We're going to do like a smoky liner effect. 
nothing too serious basically you just want to take your brush and just go over the lash line and then I'm taking the darker brown shade from um, I think it's coffee before talkie I think it is from makeup geek and a Sigma e25 blending brush and just work that the closest to the lash line so this is a Suva beauty um, hydra liner which means that it's like a cake liner which it's dry but once you apply it with water or setting spray and wet it it becomes an eyeliner so this is um, the shade I think it's uh, dance party and it's like a bright neon yellow and I'm just doing a little half motion and then we're gonna go on to the face I'm using this Laura Mercier face lotion because my face has been so dry you guys I mean like dry like flaking off like I have not been taking care of my skin as much as I should be so my skin is so parched like so parched so this is a power grip primer from elf I just got it and I think this is my new favorite primer it is so 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 tacky like once it dries it's so sticky and tacky it makes for a great gripping primer even better than the milk one and you guys know i like the milk one but this is the sephora better than skin foundation and if you've watched well if you've watched my instagram reels you'll know this has been my favorite foundation for the past couple of months i picked this up at sephora when me and my niece and blaze were you know shopping for jacks uh, i think it was like Oh my gosh, what was it? I forget what we were going to Kohl's to buy him. And um, we just were browsing and I found this foundation. It was very inexpensive. I think it was like 20 something bucks. The shade matches me 100% perfectly. And it looks like skin. Like, it look, look how good that looks. I love it. Like, it, it looks so good. So natural. And it feels so lightweight. I've been telling everybody, like, if you're looking for a great foundation, get the Sephora um, Better Than Skin Foundation. So this is the ABH Concealer. I just picked this up a couple of weeks ago as well. Um, it's a thick, thicker concealer. It's not my favorite shade range-wise, but I like that it gives a natural appearance once it's blended out. But, of course, I'm extra. This is how it looks blended out. Very natural, very, you know every day but I'm extra so I'm using um, the benefit cakeless concealer in number eight for a lighter brighter look and then of course I'm gonna set that down with my benefit or I'm sorry the nye luxury powder in banana and I'm just gonna press that into the skin go ahead and bake it a little bit even though I've been dry I'm usually not dry under the eyes I'm usually dry on like the forehead and um, like the cheek area but um, I'm just going to apply that with my beauty blender and then we're going to start bronzing up the skin. This is the Juvia's Place bronzer. I also found this like maybe like three, four months ago and it's taken over my Black Radiance. Like Black Radiance who? Like this shade is perfect. It's just it's just a great contour palette. Like I, I love the two different shades. The darker were like more cool tone shade and then you got this warmer shade. It's a really good shade. Like a really good um contour palette so if you are in the market for a new contour palette go to Ulta and check out your Juvia's Place um, stand and pick this up of course Black Radiance blush this is in Toasted Almond this is gonna forever be my favorite like natural blush shade so I'm just gonna apply that to the cheeks using a dose of colors um, blush brush and then we are going to move on to highlighter now this is a highlighter I think it's called Midas it's a stardust illuminator from um, there's a content creator on Instagram named worthy she used to make really cool like reels and like Instagram videos um, she was just really creative with them and she had a makeup brand I'm not sure if she still does but she came out with these highlighters and it's absolutely gorgeous very natural looking it's just basically everything so I'm gonna go in with this uh, benefit precisely my brow pencil just go over my brows where everything's a little more sparse because I just did I went in with a powder earlier but I wanted it to look a little fuller then I'm using a little bit of Laura Mercier's um, mascara to prep my lashes and while that's drying i'm going to use my kiss lip liner in the shade chocolate this is a very very dark deep chocolate lip liner it's amazing but i will say it is like a little like drying like you want to make sure your lips are moisturized because it will tug and pull on the lips um it's not like the best lip liner i've ever had but it, it did its job 
Um, if you guys are an oldie, you remember this lipstick. This is Milani's Teddy Bear lipstick. It's so old, you guys. I think this is like seven or eight years old. I honestly need to throw it out because it was not doing what your girl needed it to do. <laughs> so that's going in the garbage. Um, but I applied that to my lips and then I'm gonna go ahead and pop on lashes. These are some lashes I just got from Amazon. Um, I will link them down below if I can find them in my orders. But just nothing really fancy, nothing too expensive. I think they were like seven bucks maybe but they look so good like i've just been loving ordering my lashes off of amazon because first of all they're affordable and second of all they come in two days and you know it's not like i'm spending 14 15 bucks 50 bucks on lashes 25 bucks on lashes like who what when where and why period uh, this is Alicia Ashley's lip gloss that she did in collaboration with e.l.f. It's called like Nude, Nude Rose or something. So I just popped that on. Here I am popping on my lashes so I can go ahead and do my outro. But before I do that, I'm going to use this Nexus Comb Through Finishing Spray. It's a hairspray, but it's not as strong as the bedhead that I used earlier or the Gorilla or um, the Got To Be either. So it's just a really nice like combing. It's a combing finishing spray so I just sprayed that to tame some of the flyaways um, and here I am just using the flat iron just to bump the ends just slightly because you know I don't need it like that but this is basically the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed make sure you check out the link down below to check out the hair from Ula hair it is so soft and the lace is amazing it turned out great it bleached fabulously I hope you guys enjoy I love you all and I'll see you soon Bye.